So I want to make sure that I'm getting the name correct. So give me one second. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to him live here on Twitch and also on YouTube because obviously the VOD for this will be going on YouTube. Um, uh, his name isn't on it, but I'll go based off of his username. Uh, that big Ed. Uh, I, I would assume that his name is Ed. Uh, maybe not. By the way, that big Ed. I want to say a quick shout out. Thank you for uh, giving me a rental code for the team uh, for the team that you have, so that I can try it out myself here on Twitch. And that's absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for that. Um, and then let me do a quick thing for Instagram be like hey look at this I'm on uh, link in bio bio and then kind of do that gotta go fast gotta go fast gotta go faster 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 I don't know why this song's in my head Without any explanation No time for relaxation Okay Cool Thank you for the wait. Just wanted to get a couple things done. Um, okay, so I I update. Jeez. So I updated. Man, I need to get water too. So I updated the schedule. It's not Saturdays anymore. So it's Tuesday, Thursday, Friday now. Uh, all of them from five to salty corn. Yes. Um. Yeah, so new schedule as opposed for Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And they will all start at 5 p.m. with a two to three hour uh, time span. So there's that. Uh, still got to put up the VODs on YouTube, of course. And by the way, uh, because of how it's five o'clock, uh, you can actually watch my first ever YouTube video now. Uh, that uh, it should be uploaded now, available for all of you to watch. So during the stream or after the stream, you can go ahead and watch that if you want. I take a who's that Pokemon quiz and I do a tier list of what I think are the most forgettable Pokemon. Um, and I hope all of you enjoy that. Really quick, I'm gonna get some water at this fridge that's right behind me. <laughs> I don't know why that song's in my head right now. <laughs> Watch out for Sonic X. Gotta go fast. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So let's connect to the internet. That's very important. Uh, so far, no drop frames. So it looks like I got all of those settings fixed. Uh, compared to last stream, last stream was a little... A little bit on the downside, but it's all good. We're all here. Um, but, uh, oh, to continue on with what I was saying with the Twitch schedule, uh, you also no notice that Thursdays doesn't show Animal Crossing anymore. Uh, whenever I do have an up, uh, like a huge update about Animal Crossing, that's when I will play it on here. But to be honest, I think the only thing I'm really going to focus on is Pokemon, because Pokemon is really the thing that I know best and I enjoy it. So... But, of course, it's not solely going to be Pokemon. I will do some uh, some other stuff, but just only when I feel like it, so. Oh, I went, I lost points? For what? Oh, yeah, that's right. The last game I played, I lost. Uh, so, we're going to be using a rental team. 
this one. Uh, excuse me. Um, pocket monster cheese. Uh, so the setup they have for the team that they created, this is what it looks like. I told them that I would try it out, give it a test run to see how well it would work. Uh, all of these Pokemon are before Isle of Armor, so I mean they're still technically part of the meta. But uh, there's a Labaros, which I learned is pronounced Cinderace, not Cinderace. I always pronounce it as Cinderace, but apparently it's pronounced Cinderace, which is interesting. Um, with a Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, Bounce, and Iron Head. Uh, with Labaro, uh, when I use that move, it will change into the typing of the move uh, for the Pokemon. And of course, there's Life Orb. It cannot be pronounced like that. But it's how it's pronounced. It's pronounced as freaking Cinderace. For freaking Google Translate confirmed that for me. Uh, and then there's Bisharp with Defiant, which I'm already forgetting what Defiant does. Um, ooh, is that Taj? <gasps> it is Taj. That makes me dislike it even more. Hey, man, I, I, I feel that. I really do. Okay, so Defiant. What's the Defiant ability? I'm already forgetting. Defiant ability... Um, when a stat of a Pokemon with this ability is lowered, its attack is increased by two stages. Huh. I forgot that Bisharp knows that. That would be very useful. Son is number one. Um, so yeah, Defiant with Safety Goggles. Uh, I would assume they have it as like a off tank if I would have to assume. And there's Darmanitan with Gorilla Tactics uh, and Choice Band with a pretty good moveset as well. It's text to speech. If there if there's a made up word, it, it'll just guess. Hey man, even the Pokemon World Champion from I think 2016 even pronounces it as Cinderachi. I don't know. It's a thing. Uh, Gorilla Tactics. I'm already forgetting what that ability does, but I know it's something specifically for Darmanitan. Um, boosts the Pokemon's attack by 50%, but limits the Pokemon to using only one move. So it's like Choice Band, so you're just better off giving a Choice Band to get that extra attack boost to it. Um, this effect stacks with the Choice items. Okay. So, meaning with... So with this, so with this ability and the choice band, the attack is boosted by 125%. That's crazy. No wonder why Darmanitan became s somewhat on the lower end of meta. <laughs> we making choices out here now? Always, always we're making choices. Uh, then they have a Prankster Whimsicott, which is very uh, with Focus Ash, which is very similar to the uh, one that I have. Uh, but it looks like they have Taunt on here instead of Fake, te uh, fake Tears uh, compared to mine. Then there's Dracovish with a Strong Jaw and Choice Scarf, which is great. Uh, Choice Scarf boosting up its attack. Strong Jaw boosting up the Biting based attacks, which is perfect for Crunch, obviously, and Psychic fan uh, Fangs. But it's also really good for Vicious Rend. Reason for that is because uh, the strong jaw and the choice spark, of course, boosts up its attack. But Vicious Ren also boosts its attack if it goes first, if I remember correctly. So basically, you can do like a, like a percentage output of over 600%, I think, uh, of attack. So like, no matter what, it's got a guarantee um, to Oko if done right. And a Dragapult with a clear body and a weakness policy. Um, so, uh, I don't know the EV spread he did, and the game won't tell me either. So there's that. 
but I am very excited to use this. This set up. There we go. Man, my stutter today. Um, because according to him, I think he said that he went to the Master Ball tier with this team. So if I play my cards right, I could possibly as well. Um, it'd be quite interesting to see how this team works. Never seen this much detail on Pokemon before. <laughs> I mean, dude, if you look into the, the competitive scene for Pokemon, it's it's more hardcore than, than uh, people realize. But let's use this rental team. Um, I did look on, on online for some more rental teams as well, so I'm so I may possibly on stream uh, put in those codes and use them. Maybe um, haven't decided yet, but I know I really wanted to try out this guy's team because it was very interesting. And plus, he and I have been talking quite a bit. Okay, so they have a Dusclops, so Trick Room, Shocker. They have a Trick Room team. By the way, I know it looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm not. I'm like right here because there's a zit there. Uh, dusk, uh, there is a Dusclops, uh, a Tyranitar, a Moongus, which a Moongus has actually gone quite down for the meta. And then there's Indorachi, Rillaboom, and Cinderace. I think with this, because since they have Dusk, Dusclops, it probably has Trick Room, most likely. Most do. Um, I think we're going to put Bisharp in the front end. Uh, I don't know if I want Darmanitan out there. I think I'll... I think a Bisharp and a, Cin and a Cinderachi up front is good. Um, I don't know if I want to do Dracovish. I really want to try out Darmanitan. I... I I have never used Darmanitan, so I'm gonna try him really quick. I cannot take this too seriously. If you keep pronouncing it like that, I will lose my mind. Fine, I'll pronounce it as Cinderace. How does that sound? Just for you. <laughs> There's some people that that pronounce Togekiss as as Togekiss, and when I heard that the first time, I just wanted to sh like shoot my brains out. Oh no, this is not good. I need Bisharp to get the hell out of there. There's, actually, I think Bisharp should be faster than Incineroar. But at the same time... <laughs> yeah, there's there's no reason uh, to have Bisharp out there. Uh, definitely not Darmanitan. So, I... Ugh. Crap. Um... Let me put in Dragapult, use that, um, and then try to Oko this Incineroar. Incineroar is pretty slow, but I don't think Bisharp will do enough damage on Incineroar uh, before Bisharp gets taken out by either Enderace or Incineroar. Either way, I'm just trying to play it safe. Um, oh, this is a Gigantamax. This is Enderace. I didn't know that. Okay, cool. Interesting. Yep, and they're probably di uh, di uh, maxing. They're probably maxing their Cinderace as well. Because they always do. Yeah, they did. Okay, but theirs is just a normal Dynamax. It's not like a uh, Dynamax. Um, so... Does it affect Dragapult, which is fine. Dragapult can't attack anyway. Yeah, they tried to take out the Bisharp with... Cinderace, which makes sense. Uh, now there is... Uh... Some sunlight out, which is perfect. Switching my Cinderace's type to fighting. Didn't Oko Incineroar, so they boosted up the, the defense quite a bit, which is fine. Um, I think what I will do 
Oh, they probably have max airstream on their Cinderace. I just now thought about that. Um, if the two, if there are two targets, this move hits each target once. Okay, so that's what I thought it does. So I think what I'll do. I just find fly such an interesting move. I don't know why they would do that, but I'm gonna do it on Cinderace. Protect. Um, protect Dragapult a little bit. And I'm actually gonna do a, a max knuckle into Cinderace. Dude, that one Pokemon looks intimidating as fuck. You're right. And Cinderace survived, luckily, uh, but their Incineroar is gonna hit it and take it out, which is fine. Um, I mean, not a great amount of damage, but... And then, doing a parting shot to switch out Incineroar. That's completely fair. that damage. Yeah, I know. Trust me, I agree. Again, this is not my team. I've never used it before, so I'm probably gonna not do too well for a few games until I get a good idea exactly how to use it. Okay, so now they have the Rilla Boom out there. I think what I'll do is just try to Oko it. If it moves first, no, it doesn't. That's right, because a glassy, uh, glassy, grassy glide. It's it's fine. I say it's fine, but it's probably not. And then, oh, so close. And Dragapult is most likely Oko here. No, no, not Oko. That's right. It already had damage. Okay. Yeah, so... We're down two Pokemon, they're down none. Looking like a kill a kill character on that fireball. <laughs> actually, I think that's a good description for that. I never thought about it like that. That's actually so true. Oh, shoot. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, they're not Dynamax anymore. But they do move faster, so there's that. Um, I think what I will do... Shoot. It, it's just a hard gamble because I don't know... Who, who they're going to be trying to aim for here. I, I think what I'm going to do... The user attacks the target. Oh, no, no, there's no reason to use that right now. Um... I'm going to use an Ice School cra uh, Crash on Rillaboom. And I'm going to Protect just to see what this is, the Ender Race does. Uh, it's probably got to go after the Darmanitan, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, definitely lost this first game. But... It's fine. Again... I'm learning how this team works. <laughs> Mad swag. Swag for days. That's interesting. The, the mighty Kami, you know, while he was nailed in a fireball. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, this should be able to take out the Cinderace. Freaking grassy glide. Don't worry, it's all good. It's all good that you can't spell. As I look behind me and give it away of who said it. <laughs> oh, man. Communicating. But yeah, I definitely lost this match, which is fine. Uh, the reason why Grassy Glide is priority is because there is grass... Because there is grass terrain out. Um... So, so as long as Grass Terrain is out, no matter what, 
the grassy glide will go first, even fast, uh, e even faster than the sucker punch. Strangely enough, so I'm gonna o I'm gonna oko this near the mine fake out. I forgot about that. Never mind. That's probably game. It's not game yet. <laughs> Don't worry, it's fine. I'll fight till the bitter end. It, it doesn't matter what I do because I'm gonna lose and die, but... I just want to try to get... Well, I just want to see if I can... Try, try to take out this Rillaboom first. Oh, actually, even without the Grassy Glide, Rillaboom's faster than Bisharp. I, I would have thought Bisharp would have been... Well, unless that they prioritized speed on Rillaboom. That's the only thing I can really imagine. We lost uh, pretty badly, but it's fine. S still trying to learn this team. Nice, I got a bottle of zinc. No. It'll take some time. Da -da -da. I mean, you're lying to me, but... Communicating. <laughs> no. Oh, so it was weird. I was trying to put in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield as the game tag for the stream, but it wouldn't come up. So I just put it down as just chatting, even though that, that's not a good idea. Okay, so Blastoise, Gengar, Milotic. Okay. Um, I know I want Whimsicott to be out there first. Maybe... Maybe not. I don't know. Because four out of the six Pokemon they have are 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 heavy speed. Um This is what I'll do. I'll, I will put Whimsicott up in front with Dracovish. And then on the back end, definitely. Bisharp. And I just really want to keep trying out this this uh, Dormantan because I've never used one before. And I really want to understand how Dormantan functions. Look at John. Look at John. He's a happy man. Or a woman. So they go with a Cinderace and a Dragapult. Uh, they're probably going to try to take out my Whimsicott first, but it's fine. I'm going to... Actually, I might do this. Give me a second. I imagine them... Probably max air streaming. So just in case, even though that this is probably going to be a dumb move, in case if they do Dynamax and do a max air stream and change Cinderace's typing to, f uh, no, sorry, no, I, I got typings switched around in my head. I did this turn totally wrong. It's, it's whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe I can turn it around. Maybe. Oh, but they didn't... But they didn't Dynamax at all. That's quite interesting. They're probably gonna... Double down on my Whimsicott, I would imagine. Dragon Darts. Okay. And... Yeah, that's interesting. Interesting choice. And they're thinking they're gonna take out the Whimsicott, but there's a Focus Sash, which they will take it out next turn. Um, what I will do,
there's no reason to use that right now. So what I will actually do is do a helping hand for Dracovish and do that max airstream into Dragapult really quick. Not airstream, max darkness. Come on, why is max airstream stuck on my mind? Jeez. Oh man. And there goes the Dragon Ball. I just realized something about my thing. Oh. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Huh. Well, I did something by acting on my computer. I'm gonna do this. Cool. Chat away, fellows. Chat away. Venusaur is next up. Um, I'm going to do another helping hand. And as much as I really want to take out that Cinderace, I'm going to go for Venusaur. I think they're Dynamaxing the Venusaur, so that's probably a good choice that I did. Yes. So, I... <sighs> Venusaur is usually a tank, so... Hopefully this is enough power to... Maybe Oko it, but probably not. Yep, no. Nope. I didn't think so. Extra thick Venusaur. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. And, oh, Dracovish barely survives. But gets hit with the vine. Uh, the vine thing. So it takes it out. And then it's got to take out Whimsicott as well, if I remember correctly. At least it should. I don't know. Um, I'm going to do Dormana's hand. Good damage to that Venusaur, though. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm actually going to do a Rock Slide. Do some damage on Venusaur, but take out the Cinderace. That's if Dormanitan goes faster, but I don't know if it will or not. Yeah, there we go. And that, oh, that took out both of them. Perfect. Don't worry about Dracovish. Freaking Dormanitan. Oh, um, got revenge for Dracovish. And Tailwind petered out. So I need to pop off a Tailwind before Whimsicott's fully taken out. My low tick. Another tanky Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and it's their last one. Didn't even realize. Uh, so let's pop that off. And then... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um... Should I really... Oh, that's right. I'm stuck with Rock Slide because of Choice Band. That's fine. Not too bad. More than I thought uh, it would do. And now we'll take out Darmanitan with a crit. That's fine. Okay, so definitely a helping hand.
They're probably going to take out the Whimsicott. But I'm going to try it. Oh, that's right. Freaking Psychic Terrain. I forgot that happens. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think because of that one dumb move, I think that called it a game. I keep, for I'm keep forgetting about the effects of Psychic Terrain. And that's always screwing me over. Not enough. Are you kidding me? It had Rocky Helmet, and now it's got to attack Whimsicott. Oh my... Can someone make a clip of that? <laughs> Body pillow give you strength, sir. Hey, Xavier, I don't know why, but uh, Twitch's bot or whatever <laughs> said, hey, confirm or deny this, this comment. <laughs> it's like, what's so bad about the word waifu? <laughs> I actually had to click except for it to show. That's so weird. This is an interesting team. Um, they're probably focusing on Palisan with a weakness policy. Uh, so what I'm going to do is Whimsicott and Dracovish in the front end again. But with... Shoot, I don't know. Cinderace in the back. And I'm going to say screw it. Uh, Dragapult, maybe. The, the waifu was almost rejected. But at that time, it allowed you to say it. So what was bad about saying nice waifu you got there? If it allowed you to say waifu in that comment. I don't, I don't get that. That makes no sense. I hope this body pillow gives me strength. I really do. I'm really sad. So, I've seen this strat on YouTube quite a bit. Basically, what they're basically what the what they're going to do is, um, they're going to Dynamax the Palisan, and and they're going to use the. Selgor, I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced, uh, to attack it, because since it has weakness policy and boost up, it's, I think, attack. It's, it's either it's attack or defense. Either way, it's, it's a very annoying strategy. I'll clip what happened after the stream ends. Thanks, bud. Um, it's a very annoying strategy, but it's also cool and fun. Um, but I'm hoping with Tailwind and me doing a Ficious Rend, um, huh. Oh, and that's right. It's ability, water, um, whatever, which boosts its... <sighs> I hate this team so much. I hate this team strat. Pretty rough for that. Yep. So weird how that gets priority before Tailwind. Like, 
That's not enough damage. Max Quake. Dra uh, Dracovish? Yeah. And Dracovish is out for the count. Well, it sucks because I realistically don't have anything to go against this Palisand, to be completely honest. Like, I appreciate how people came up with that, sh like, like that team setup, because again, it's really cool, it's really fun. But it's also the most annoying freaking thing in the world. Pisses me off. Um, I'm gonna do Dragapult. It's whatever. I've already written off the next like. Not not only this match, but probably the next two after this, to be completely honest, because the last game last game made me really sad. Communicating. I'm just hoping that if I take out the Palisand, they quit. <laughs> That's all I can really hope for. To be honest, I I should technically go for the Acelgore because of how without it, it can't do anything for Palisand. But Palisand still has stuff to help itself. I, I don't know anymore. It, it's... I'm just at the sad boy times right now. I mean, look, see, that's nothing. And I had Helping Hand for that. And that did nothing. Acid spray. It's gotta take out Whimsicott now. Oh hey look, it's that big Ed. This is this is the man I was talking about who gave me the code for this team. Hello, and welcome to the stream, and I hope you enjoy my my very sad look while holding my body pillow, because it's the only thing that's making me push through right now. I don't know if you saw last match, but last match I was literally about to win, but then I messed up. By by one. Um shoot. There's no reason to do bounce. I'm just gonna do a pyro ball. Um, Waifu will bring you power. <laughs> that's where <laughs> that's what we're hoping, but no guarantees. I think pyro ball should do enough damage to take out his Selgor. I could be wrong. Focus Ash, that's right. I forgot that that's what they do. Well, and they were gonna take out freaking Cinderace. This match is done. So, I was trying to find a way in the game, which I don't think there is a way to, to, to find out. Is there a way for me to see what the spread you did for the Eevees for for each Pokemon. Because I know with Dragapult, people do like a multitude of different ways of the Eevee spread. For example. Continue battling. And now I'm rank four. Oh no, never mind. I'm still at five for now. <laughs> for now. Everything should be max max. We should look for that version of it. Clip won't load. Oh, clip won't load. Oh. Oof. 
Um, okay, so they they have a Draco Fish. They have they have a Whimsicott. They have an Aegislash Noivern. Yeah. Uh, Mudsdale. Mudsdale is a fun one. I'm still in the mood of having Whimsicott and Dracovish in the front. Personally. Dormanitan? Shoot. I don't know, to be honest. <sighs> Maybe Darmanitan, and I can go to either Bisharp or Dragapult, but in this case, probably Bisharp. Can beat up versus the Galley, too. Yeah, it definitely can. I'm thinking either Bisharp or Dragapult, but I can't for some justified BS. Yeah. Dragapult. I'm doing it. Dragapult. <laughs> Last second choice. Miles. Galley yeah, Whimsicott. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay. As much as I really. All clips in the entire. Well, have. Will be in Sweaty Boy. Cool. Oh, you didn't get it in time. Oh, did I not get it in time? Oh, I didn't. Shoot. Uh, shoot. Okay, I'm gonna do a max airstream into Gallade. And give... And give... The end race a... Put some weird busted. Oh, you're right. That's right, I did say that I wanted a Dracovish lead. <sighs> Shoot. Every defeat is just character development. You right, you right. I'm with you on that one. Okay, so uh, Galliade is good. And gone. That mighty comet. That's return. Yeah, they yeah, they tried to do the justified beat up. This is just the training arc for anime. You're not wrong. Hopefully, yo, if someone could create like a surreal vaporwave anime ish intro for me, that would be great. So much swag. He's standing on the sun. Everything for the plots. Okay, so they have Noivern coming in. Um, Noivern is, I know, flying. But is it dark? Is it dark? I'm, I'm already forgetting. Um, You gotta do this. It would be probably dumb for me to do. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, no! Uh, 
Okay, I didn't get that in in time. I was reading the comments. I'm sorry. I've disappointed everyone. That sucks. Well, too late. I ignore the whimsy and just focus on the bat. You're so right. You're so right. Hey, at least I got the speed up. That's something, right? Yeah, you're on a fine spot, to be honest. Yeah. I agree, for the most part. Um, okay, so I want to increase our attack more. Helping hand or moon blast? do a helping hand. I'd love to have a Noivern. I love Noivern. They're Dynamaxing Noivern. That's the only thing I can think of. There's no way that they're Dynamaxing Noivern. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. And then... Max our stream. Boost up that speed. Oh shoot. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I I love Noivern too. To be equally honest. Design wise. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? <laughs> you think you you can play these games? That, that was a crit? Okay. Yikes. Um. Okay. So, I'm just gonna focus on a Pyro Ball for Whimsicott. And then a Moon Blast on Noivern. Crit. Crit mattered. Yeah, you know, they always do. They always do. They're really thinking. <laughs> That's for sure. They're really thinking. Dracovish. It's fair. It's fair. Uh, then what I'm gonna do is... Mm. Do I want to? I'd say screw it. High jump kick. And do a moon blast. <laughs> Yellow. Man, I haven't heard that. Heard or read that in a while. Yellow? Jeez. It's been forever. <laughs> now that's a lot of damage! Moonblast. Okay, well, because since I won this game, I'm gonna put my waifu back. Give me a second. <laughs> If anyone wants to know what a true roommate looks like, you can't see him, but he's on the couch over there. He's on his computer, watching my stream, chatting it up in chat. That That is a supportive roommate. <laughs> oh, 
god, the Pokemon looks like my first grade art project. Oh man. Freaking Dracovish is a first grader's art project. I don't care what anybody says. Cool, I gained some points. Whoopee. Drinks to that. Water. Some Aquafina. Don't at me for drinking Aquafina. It's better than Dasani. Not sponsored, by the way. <clears throat> okay, sorry. Just wanted to get my my leg up. Uh, we're going up against Kappa. Kappa. Kappa, Kappa. Um, it's actually... <laughs> it's actually Vodka. It's actually Vodka. Uh, so they have a Whimsicott. My low... T <clears throat> okay, um... I want to do Whimsicott, uh, Whimsicott and Draco Vision in the front again. Because I love it. Uh, but for the back... Do I really want to have... Because of the two fairy types they have, I kind of want to put Bisharp in there. And then maybe Cinderace. Might be better open in case he brings the Corion. So true, though. You know what? That's... You know what? I, I'm going to uh, listen to you, Ed. Um... I know I definitely want Bisharp. Bisharp I definitely want. I just really want... Dracovish on the back, maybe? I don't think Dragapult or, Dar or Darmanitan. The only thing I can think of is... is uh, Dracovish. I'm gonna do Dracovish. I, uh, I only got five seconds. I, I do want to point out that, that this year is my first year ever of me actually focusing on competitive Pokemon. So I'm make, no, I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. And I don't care. It's a learning experience. But also, at the same time, it makes me sad. Okay, so Venusaur and Whimsicott in the front. That's... Uh... Whimsicott, Venusaur in the front for them. That's interesting. Um, do I want to pop off a Tailwind for this? I mean, I feel like I should, just in case. I'm going to pop off a Tailwind. And then I'm going to do a Dynamax and a Max Airstream into Venusaur. I know I probably should have done a Helping Hand and Max Airstream on Venusaur, but I just don't know if they're going to pop off a Tailwind. That's my only concern. Because I personally feel their Whimsicott is a Tailwind Whimsicott, but it's, I don't know. Most are. Uh, so they're obviously Gigantamaxing Venusaur. So that's a thing. Whoa. Says the Venusaur. Um, I don't admit, I don't like the shiny form of Venusaur. Just, eh. I don't know. So they didn't pop off a tailwind. So, so what are they doing with Whimsicott? Sunny day. Sunny freaking day. Um... Or look like he about to drop a hot reggae mixtape. Uh, no, he's just about to drop instead, in general. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Togekiss, cool.
I'm not even gonna focus on the ones I got. Screw that. You can't fool me. No, he does not. <laughs> he does not play around. They're helping handing their Togekiss. Then what does their Togekiss have in mind? Unless if it gets one shot here. Got one shot. Oko. There we go. Two Okos in the room. Hot diggity. And they're sending out Incineroar. Doing an Intimidate. It's fair. Really fair. Uh, I'm gonna keep Cinderace out there, uh, because that would be a waste of a Gigantamax if I didn't. But, Max Knuckle. <laughs> and we get a third Oko in a row. You, you led with this Cinder Race and Whimsicott almost every game. Makes sense because it's working out for me right now, that's for sure. Not only this game, but last game too. Three Okos in a row. And there's no way to Oko Whimsicott because of the Focus Ash, but I will take it out in one turn. Because now it's two against one. Unless if they quit the game. They probably will. So, what made you go with a Gigantamax Cinder Race as opposed to a normal one? Battle was canceled. Yep, we won. We're on the up and up, boys. We're on the up and up. See? See, Xavier, I don't understand that. You use the F-bomb in chat, and it goes like, oh, that's fine. But when you wanted to mention waifu, <laughs> Twitch was like, hey, uh, we think this may be a uh, not, not, not good language. Could you confirm if it's okay to put in your chat? <laughs> what kind of system is that? Um, shoot. I think I want to do Whimsicott in... The end race in the front again. Twitch fears the weebs. They probably do. Oh, you know what? That's actually very smart. You're right about that. I didn't think about that. I did not think about that. Um, okay, so for the back end... What should I have for the back end? Darm looks clean in the back. Oh no, you're right. Because of Corviknight, Togekiss, and... Oh, for, oh no, for all of it. Oh wow, you're right. Darmanitan in the back. And what should the last one be for the back? I don't think Dragabolt. Dragab... No... Nah. I don't want to say Dracovish either, but I don't know. I can't think of a fourth. I cannot think of a fourth. What should the fourth one be? Maybe, maybe Bisharp? I mean, you're right. Oh, shoot! Got to pick. Got to pick. Draco looks fine. 
I'm sorry, I didn't, uh, that, uh, that, uh, comment didn't pop up until after I made the choice. Either works, the main three are there. You're right. You're right. Talon, Flame, and Butterfree are first. Maybe a third quarter. Wait, is this my second or third game winning? I thought this is my second, right? I don't know. I'm already forgetting. I saw you win two in a row. Okay, that's what I thought. Came and keep track of my my uh, win loss record. Chase, where are you at? I need you to keep track of my win loss record like last time. Hope he can't get the sleep powder off this. Uh, off this looks tough. Yeah, you're right. Iffy tail wins uh, sleep powders. No, you're absolutely right. Brave bird. No tailwind. Huh. And you're gonna suffer some damage. You're right, I probably should have done a taunt, but at the same time... Uh, yeah, I probably should have done a taunt. Maybe. Either way, if I can make freaking Cinderace faster, that's all good. Angel Studio, welcome aboard, Ulu. Ah, oh, shoot. Yep, that's asleep. <sighs> that was gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna at least take out the Butterfree. Um. And the end race is asleep. Yeah, Banded Dorm, Undertale, when will literally just win with two clicks. Yeah, you're right. Hello. Thank you for saying my real life name. <laughs> Which is all good because, I mean, that's essentially the name of my channel, right? So. No, no, don't, no, please don't apologize. Literally, my username for this channel is my real name, so <laughs> it's not even really being exposed. Uh Oh, I I didn't even pay attention what 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 happened this past turn. What uh what happened? I wasn't paying attention. I was reading what you guys were saying. I will expose the secrets. And protect. Oh, he tell wind up and protect. Okay, cool. I at least want to take out that Butterfree. May Cinderace wake up? Actually, no, I think it already tried to attempt, didn't it? Yeah, it already did. Pray, pray Cinderace wakes up. No, I... Trust me. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to the Lords right now. Gyarados, jeez. Cinderace, wake up. Cinderace, wake up, you son of a... I could go after that. Yeah, he's definitely gonna max. Gyarados, guaranteed. Cinderace woke up. He sprung. He sprung up. Jeez. And that takes out the Whimsicott. That's fine. Hopefully, because I after this turn, there's like, oh shoot, I think there's only one more turn for Tail uh, for. 
for Tailwind, isn't there? Oh, they did Dragon Dance. Yeah, they probably did Dragon Dance so that they could... Uh, 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 Inamax it after doing that. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. No, I agree. <laughs> it is bad. Um... Don't worry. I think we got this. Hopefully. <laughs> I think we got this. Maybe. What is happening? In terms of the game or life? Or both? Dog, where is Cinderace? He... Um... Just a warm-up game. Uh, freaking Cinder is up in the sky right now. Yep. Uh. Okay. Yeah, that's not. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, they definitely won this game. That's a big oof. Trust me, I, I agree. Oh my! Are you kidding me? And they're gonna take out my Bisharp too, in in one shot with a uh, with a uh, the Talon Flame guaranteed. Yeah, uh, I don't have t Tailwind anymore. Wait, does other wait does other side huh, side have Tailwind right now? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Huh. I should probably pay attention more. Um, do a sucker punch. I don't know what to do in this situation. Like, there's not much I can actually do. Like, that's a big oof. They got this game. Yo, as soon as I get rid of one notification on my phone, another one pops up. It's crazy. <laughs> That's not a lot of damage. Max Geyser. Yeah, that, this is a game. I'm not gonna quit though, I'm not a quitter. No matter what others say. I just realized that Gyarados... Gyarados's, uh... Whiskers? Looks like a hook. I just realized that. I don't care. I've already lost this game. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit back here and relax. say this though for the most part I wouldn't say it was a bad game like uh, I mean a terrible game it was bad but it wasn't terrible oh no I lost to Joseph yeah it yeah it definitely took a little nap As long as I can get to rank six, uh, rank six before this freaking stream ends, I'm fine. Because last stream, I was five the whole time, went back to four, then went back to five. I just want to get six. Okay, so, uh, right here. Shoot. I don't want freaking Cinderace at the front for this one. Oh, but they got a Trick Room team. Airstream plus Taunt. Yeah, I know. I completely agree with you there. Uh, 
Um, I, they're definitely gonna do a trick room team here. There's no way that they're not. So real, so realistically, the only thing I can possibly think of is probably Bisharp and Cinderace in the front, maybe. That sounds about right, right? And then Dracovish and Dormanitan in the back. No, Dracovish and Dragapult, maybe. I don't know. Wait a minute. I think I'm thinking about this way too hard. Definitely Dracovish. If he leads a Moongus plus hat, could be tricky. Yeah, I completely agree. It could be, but when is it caught? <sighs> Screw it, I'm doing it. I definitely want Cinderace and Dracovish, though. To Spore and Rage Powder. You're right. <sighs> You're right. Yo, check out Paul. You can Iron Head plus, plus Helping Hand if it's a Mungus. Yeah, no, you're right. Hey, look it is. It, it may be deny the TR. Yeah. He won't expect the goggles. Yeah, he probably won't. With Drew Hatterini. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. No, they know what I have. <laughs> Big brain plays. <laughs> no, you're <laughs> you're right. That was a big brain play for them. Oh man. Oh man, he can't spore you though. This turn. I think he wants the lol. Yeah. Oh, dude. Moonblast is true. Oh, you're right. Shoot. I read that after I took the turn. Yeah. Shoot. You're right. But hey, they couldn't get the trick room off, so that's good. Yeah. I'm like trying so hard to think of a Pokemon strategy right now, but I haven't played competitively since X and Y. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I really like, I really wanted to play um, Pokemon competitively starting X and Y, mainly because of my two high school friends. Uh, which one of them is listening to the stream and, and the other one is watching. Um, but I just couldn't fully understand it as they, as they know. Um, but I'm glad that this is the first game I decided to do it because they've just made things so much, not easier, but accessible. And that's what's important. Like... I think the problem with the competitive scene for so long was that it was not accessible. Yeah, playing with high school friends got me into it too. Yeah, uh, I want to make a competitive team consisting of six of one Pokemon. <laughs> oh! I, I like how you say that after I, <laughs> after I put in the uh, official switch. Oh, you're right. I didn't think about that. Uh, hmm. Too late now. I'm not going back. Um, what was a that I wanted to say though? So apparently, 
And I don't know... Yeah, that part I do know. Uh, me and my friends. Big powder. Um... Sorry, this and... Between between this and chat, I'm uh, trying to tell a story, but... It's hard for me, uh, for me to focus on three different things at once. Uh, I don't know what country, but it's a Spanish-speaking country. Uh, they just had, recently, a huge tournament. Huge tournament. Um, like, of over 500 people or something like, like that. And the team that won the whole thing was a mono water type team, which was, which was so baffling. It's cool, but baffling. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Xavier. <laughs> no, because you don't see that type of stuff. Like a mono water type team winning over, use Max Darkness. Uh, Wow, look at them popping off the two Trick Room Pokemon. Okay, so Dusclops is fine. It's out for the count. Uh, I will use... Hmm. I think the guy have a Seeking on the team or something? Yes, it did have a Seeking. That's what made it even crazier. Okay, I'm gonna Dynamax and do a Max Steel Spike into Hatterini. Yeah. Oh boy. Max too, but can't stop you, I don't think. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one. Gigantamax. Takes care of the Amoongus. Takes care of the Henry. Bro, everything is flooding here. Flooding? Like in your home? Which, by the way, I love the stance that Bisharp took for the attack. Thank you for playing ranked battles. Please take this pearl string. Thank you, Game Freak. Thank you for giving me a pearl string as opposed to a, um, a top quality Pokemon game. I mean, what? Who said that? Who threw shade? Was it you? <laughs> I hate that I can't complain about heat to you because you live in Florida. Yeah, you can't. How does that make you feel? <laughs> like, yikes. I don't understand why Florida has to be the way it is. Just in general. <sighs> Politoed, Barracuda, Kingdra, Blastoise. Magnazone and Quillfish. I've been seeing seeing more people use Quillfish, which I don't know why. And I know P Politoed and Kingdra is used, but I keep forgetting the reasons why they're used. 
Hey, Ed, do you have any uh, advice here, buddy? Because I, I can't think of anything. Um, Wim Dragapult. Dragapult. Beats Toad, King Weed. Oh, you're right. Oh, wait. Shoot, you're right. I didn't think about it like that. If you tell when in Max Dragon. Yeah, no, you're completely right. I didn't think about that. Shoot. Um, back end. Uh, shoot. Yeah, you're probably right about that. And then... As much as I want to put Dracovish in there, I feel like putting Cinderace. But I don't know... Uh, I'm gonna do Dragovish. I'm gonna say screw it. But looks tough, all the water resists. Yeah. I agree. Either way, I'm having fun as long as you guys are having fun. In rain, it, it, it probably can move the magazine. Yeah. Uh, but I'm definitely having fun with these battles. I don't know if you guys are having fun watching. Uh, Tailwind. Pray you, Oko. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I got all fingers crossed. <laughs> we can hope. Unless Max Guard, then, then helping him. That's crazy. Yeah. they have for the Dragapult. 326 HP. Protect on the Politoed. Huh. There goes Tailwind. Let's pray for an Oko. Close, but not there. Close, but not there. Oof, indeed. Oof, indeed. So close, but yet, so far. Okay, um... Just in case they have the Magma Zone, I don't want to put Darmanitan out there, but also Dracovish would... Well, if I do... If I do Moonblast on Kingdra, Kingdra should just be gone. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I agree. Um... Moonblast. Yeah. Plus, a stab move as well, so there's also that. Communicating ellipsis. Ooh, so close! That was so close to Okoing the Polytoad, yo.
And then there's an ice beam. It's fine. Drake, Drake, oh, this is fine. Has anyone here heard of Pokemon Academy Life? Uh, Pokemon Academy Life is a is a um, fan made game. It's a visual novel uh, game of you living a. I think you can Oko the Barra. Oh, dude, I can Oko the Barra. The Barra almost has like no no defense at all. Um, a, so with Pokemon Academy Life, it's a fan made game. It's a visual novel game where you play as Red, and you go to a private school filled with a bunch of other iconic Pokemon characters from the games, um, and you live your school life there, learn, learn about Pokemon, you can even battle. Uh, but they haven't updated their demo in two years. Last time I played their demo was 2016. They did a huge... Um, a huge upgrade to it from 2016 to 2018. So I played the 2018 version. But it's funny. Uh, apparently they haven't said anything in two years. Uh, again. But they're working on revamping the visuals again. And I've been watching the, the lead artist's streams on Twitch. And... Yo, the visuals are just keep getting better and better. And apparently they're changing the game now. Um, changing the story where that you are a, a transfer student. Yo, they got the blizzard off. Uh, they uh, they are a transfer student as a... Oh my god. Uh, as opposed to uh, starting the new school year. And I... And their main goal is to have you go through every single day through every single month for about two or three years in the game or something like that. It's actually pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm going to keep Whimsicott out there. I don't, I don't care. I'm doing it. I know I should probably just switch it out, but... This vicious run is gonna take it out. We won. It's all good. Sounds pretty neat. It is pretty neat. Uh, you you can get the demo that they released back from 2018. I played it last night and I got to the end of the demo. Um, last night, like it, it took about like probably three four hours. Um, but yeah, it's called Pokemon Academy Life. And uh, they're currently trying to work into incorporating characters from Galar as well, uh, from the newest generation. And the lead artist was recently working on B, uh, which Chef's Kiss and whatnot. Um, an opposing trainer has been found. Lucina from Smash Bros. Okay, Togekiss, Tyranitar, Dusclops, Incineroar, Primarina, and Rillaboom. Um, Whimsicott, for sure. I was about to say, I'm like, plus Bush? What are you talking about, plus Bush? <laughs> okay, Bish. Bish Sharp. You know what? I'm going to follow what you're saying here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to follow what you're saying here. So, Cinder plus Bish Sharp. Um, do I want Whimsicott at all in this battle? Probably not. Either way, I gotta make choices. Um, I 
I think we got this. That's what Lucy was doing. Ha! Her jersey number 69. Look at look at her. It's probably a dude to be honest. Usually women characters online are guys. But it, but if it is a girl, cool. Good for her. Uh Dustclops and Togekiss. Team's just weak TR, which hurts it a lot versus the Dustclops. Well, I think you can do it. Hey man. We can try and see. Uh Iron Head. I probably could have done Sucker Punch. Ah, you son of a Max skill. Tyranitar's Sandstream. I hate Tyranitar. I really do. Not not as a Pokemon, just, but, but just from the competitive aspect. <laughs> There's their weakness policy. Freaking. They're gonna pop off that TR. Yep. Um, what are you thinking, Ed, for this one? I think they're gonna try to aim for probably the Bishar. So I don't see maybe. I, I personally don't see a reason of Iron Head plus Max Steel. I'm actually gonna do a max knuckle into into uh Yeah. I feel like I should Dynamax though. That's the thing. It's tough. TR makes it not fun. No, I completely agree. And here comes Rillaboom! <laughs> Grassy Surge. Go with your heart. I'm trying to go with my heart, man. But my but my heart has been confused ever since 2015. <laughs> and Xavier knows why. <laughs> because he my bro. Isn't that right, Xavier? I love you, baby boy. <laughs> oh man. High horsepower. Well, that was a waste of a Dynamax. It's fine. Maybe. Oh, F. Yeah. Don't worry. I At least Tyranitar is taken out. Um, I just see Rillaboom being a problem. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna do the Dormanitan. Freaking Trick Room, dude. Freaking Trick Room. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna do the Rock Slide. Um. And a protect really quick. I can't do a max steel spike because I already did my Dynamax. Yeah, but but I'm gonna do Rock Slide so that I can get some damage on Rillaboom, but do quite a bit on on a on a the kiss the token kiss. Um, they're really thinking. You're probably Dynamaxing. I guarantee you they're Dynamaxing. Oh wow, they're not. Okay, cool. 
Oh, they're using follow me anyway, so. Probably did a uh, good thing that I did, Rock Slide. Oh, yes! Good protect. Good protect. Oh. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What is the neighbor doing? <laughs> Literally, they're... Oh, man. I'm so glad I protected. I'm so glad I protected. Dustclops. Hi, my name's Dustclops. Hmm. I could try to do another protect, but... I don't think there would be a reason to. Yeah. There's their Dynamax. Probably Ferilla Boom. There's no way it's for Dusk. Uh, no. No. I can't imagine it for Dusk. Oh, yeah, no. G oh, Gigantamax Ferilla Boom. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's, that's just perfect. <laughs> Love to see that. Not. Nah. Oh, come on, Dusclops! <sighs> I tried so hard and got so far. But in the end... It doesn't even matter. <laughs> there goes Bish Short. That's fine. The uh, the rock slide should take out the dust pops. Keyword should. Okay, cool. Welcome back. Okay. But um, all I know is uh, Dracovish is going to have... One hell of a time. I, yeah, I don't like Rillaboom G-Max either. Like, I understand the design, but it's just whatever. Man, I feel really bad for Dracovish. Um, How many turns of Trick Room? Oh, you're right. I should probably check that. This is the last one. This is the last one for Trick Room. Um, there's no reason in, to do a Fish's Ren. Because of his Grass typing. I'm going to do... I could probably win, but... Crunch for Defense drop chance. Yeah. I wanted to. But that alone <laughs> just made me skeptical. Cool. I don't. I don't know. It's fine. Okay. So no more trick room. That's good. Rock slide. Let's do a crunch. Oh no, I can't because of the scar. It's fine. Battle was canceled. They gave up. They gave up. They're like, I don't have Trick Room anymore. I can't do it. And it's like, cool. See ya, Lucina. Easy money. Ching, ching. Continue battling. Okay, I think we got two more games left for this stream, I would say. Been doing this for an hour 44. 
I could possibly go longer, but to be honest, probably this upcoming match and in, and in, and in one more following match. Posing trainer has been found. Anything. Andrew, Dragapult, Steelix, Alakazam, Bull, Bullhound, really? Bullhound? I never would have imagined that. Who's a fan in Cantonian Persian? That's just such an interesting team. That's just such an interesting team. sent me a message. She sent me a game. Trying to react, but it's hard. There we go. Uzafin in Cantonian version. What is this strat? I've never seen this before. It's very interesting. Fake out on the Persian, Persian, and super luck on the bird. Does it? Does Luzifant have super luck though? I didn't think it did. It prob probably does. And fake out on Persian, that makes more sense. Yeah. Either way, the Persian's out for the game. And Dragovich is just like... More power. <laughs> and... Yep. Tailwind. Which makes sense. Steelix. I'm just trying to turn down the light. I have a plan for the single coat competitive team. Airstream the bird and one and one shot the Steelix. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Damn shiny Steelix. Yeah, it is. <laughs> huh. Hold up. <laughs> All Amolgas. Oh, no. Freaking sturdy. And there's a 
earthquake. Oh my god, that's right. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And of course, Uzafin is protecting itself. Frickin... Okay. <laughs> Ding. Frickin... Uzafin is the biggest problem. And it's kind of annoying. They're like, look at me. I got a Dragapult. And Tailwind got a Oko, your freaking whatchamacallit. And it's like, oh, please. Please do. Then their freaking Uzafin's gotta do some freaking whatever thing. That. I keep pronouncing it as Zimzapin, which I know it's not pronounced that way, but it's whatever. <laughs> dragon darts. Uh -huh. You're dragon. Oh, uh, 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 bye. Bye, Dragonfish. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Low key, I'm mad. I'm mad because I just couldn't understand what their strat was for this. At least they don't have Tailwind now, but they're going to pop it back up in just a second. It has Protect and Detect. Are you... Gonna do Phantom Force, or they're gonna quit. Hopefully, they'll quit. Nope, they're freaking Dynamaxing. I'm just gonna watch this from afar.
last match for the day. That last battle is going to be a separate YouTube video upon itself. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me, Xavier? <laughs> Do you love the amount of pain that I am going through? Why did you say no? I think you meant to say... Yes! <sighs> that last battle literally is making my body feel weird. Like, I got a headache now. I feel like I'm floating. Ugh. Focus, Ash. Of course. Stealth Rock. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Cool. And they're bringing out their Cinderace, which is, which is pretty good. Um... That's probably a bad move on my part. That's fine. This game has me so turned. I I have become all knowing. Your, your guys are strong. Yep. They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get Frank Seven after this one. You've got the power. Row, row, fight the power. <laughs> If I don't make rank rank seven after this game, I'll play one more game. But but if I get rank seven, the stream is done, and I just have like two minutes worth of things to tell you guys before the end of the stream. Just just two minutes. Imagine based on the luck you you had, you get a, a silver below it, a sliver below it. Yeah, no, I. My luck in general in life is terrible, so I wouldn't discount it. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Rank seven? <laughs> Maybe.
That chiz didn't even move. It didn't even move! They're like, oh, you want a game? Hmm, here's... A toenail's width of points. I'm gonna play one more game. And then that's it. But don't worry, I got my lucky Froki with me. That's what I went to go get, so... I wish I had like tape or something and just like, just like, keep them right on here. With no issues. Like the game literally said, here's some here's some participate uh, some uh, participation points, even though that I won the game. That's like giving a player in the NFL Finals a certificate of participation even though that they won the Finals. They're like, you don't get this nice golden trophy. Here's a per here's a participation certificate. Like... It's taking its time trying to search a player. That's interesting. An opposing trainer has been found. Cool. <sighs> Freaking Porygon 2. Are you kidding me? Um, I know they're definitely going to put Lapras in there. Bisharp, I know I won in the front. Is the best bet. Really? Is it really, though? Eh. Uh, I'm going to listen to you. I know I'll want Bisharp in there. 100%. Should the fourth be though? Indeedy plus Pori might be tough. <laughs> might be. It will be tough. Um, who should I have as the last Pokemon in the back? I don't think Darmanitan. But... Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking Darm the whole time, but I just didn't feel confident about it. I'm going with it. Super power can nuke Lapras and Porygon. It could. It could. But of course, the... But of course, the negative effects of that move also outweighs the move itself. It's a very interesting thing. Ndidi and Dracovish in the front. Um, Cool, I was going after you anyway. Then you can swap land for something else. Deal spike again. Yeah, you're probably right for that one.
can't stop me now Cause I'm having a good time Having a bomb Can't stop me now Um Can't stop me now Wait, what if Please tell me I got 30 seconds left Oh, that's actually a good idea. Here, I'm gonna do that. That's actually probably a really good idea. Continuing to raise defenses, especially on Bishart. Not a bad idea. They withdrew the Dracovish. Porygon too. Son of a... Freaking Porygon too. You can max Knuckle plus Assurance. Yeah, you're right. It's just his traceability. I hate it. Go for a one shot on the four again. Yeah. I just realized I haven't been listening to the game this whole time. So, so the gym leader theme, bop. I'm not listening to it, which which makes me sad because it's a, again it's a bop. Um, Max Michael. You say wait, but it's already too late. <laughs> it's already too late, my guy. Yo, why is Twitch keep holding the thing? Maybe if you took out the Dragapult. Nah, you're right. I just hate Porygon, too. I will admit, I have a vendetta towards it. Oh good, you should be fine unless Ally Switch. Ally Switch! It does have Ally Switch! Keep forgetting about that. You shouldn't trick room. At least, if he somehow doesn't die. Yeah. Cool. Porygon 2 is not a problem anymore. But there goes... Um... Oh. Never mind, I was thinking of something totally different. Ignore me. You low key, you low key can be as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I keep forgetting about the deal spikes that I did. It's fine. Do I have Tailwind up? Yes, I do, for one more turn. Psychic terrain. I didn't realize it was psychic terrain. And now, if 
he is as far as Dracovish, he won't hit you next turn. You're right. Um, insurance. There goes Fishart. Oh no! The defense I already built up. Plus, Fish Sharp's attack has gone up really high as well. As long as it survives this, it does not. Oh, yep, that is new. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna retail win. Oh yeah, for sure. Then then Darm one shots. Yeah. Then Great Ball, <laughs> parentheses, unless. I, I feel that one. For winning two in a row, though, they usually make up for it, so I should be able to rank up. I just forget when this season ends. When does season five end? Is it on the 31st? And there goes Whimsicott. Oh no, Whimsicott's still up. Cool. 31st? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm already forgetting. Yeah, I did do Tailwind. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. Don't stop me now. Don't stop me because I'm having a good time. Having a good time. Doing good. good. Dragapult's like, oh no, let me use my weakness policy. It is good, but I just want that back up just in case if they take out the um, Harmanitan after I... Oh, no. It, it doesn't matter. Can't miss. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I won. It, it's good. <laughs> it's all good. I won. Whoopee. Wahoo. Easy lemon squeezy. That's not what I meant to do. Go back into the battle stadium. Let's do an update for the rank. Rank seven, maybe. Rank seven, rank seven, great ball tier. Here's some BP to commemorate. Cool. Okay. Well, that will. I'm just gonna do this. That will officially be the last match for today's stream. Uh, there are a couple things, though, I want to say really quick before all of you go. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, Thursday, I will most likely play play some more competitive Pokemon. More chances than not, because. I'm getting into it, even though that the last three to five games made me freaking lose my mind. 
Um, but also, I have a brand new YouTube video out. It came out two hours ago when I started the stream. I did a Who's That Pokemon quiz, as well as a tier list of the most forgettable Pokemon. If you watch the 15-minute video, you'll see of how that I do those two into one video. Um, so click the link for the YouTube, uh, for, for YouTube and watch that. And for those of you who are watching this VOD on YouTube, thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. And for those of you watching on Twitch, again, thank you so much for tuning in today. Especially since we finally got the Great Ball tier. Um, I, appreciate, I appreciate all of you. Thank you for letting some entertainment into your life. And I will see you on Thursday, 5 p.m.